Welcome back to Fernando's Hideaway, <coughs> and we want to thank Mario for joining us in the studio. Right now, we have Victoria Sanabria, an artist from Puerto Rico that is very well known, and she's going to be appearing Sunday at Franklin Park Zoo uh, to perform. Absolutely, and we're talking about the you know Puerto Rican cultural fair that is mm -hmm. taking place this weekend, and as we all know. You know, we're going to talk to Victoria Sanabria shortly, but we're also going to have people like, you know, El Gallito de Manati, who's a, also a very famous singer, mm -hmm. and Ismael Miranda. So this will be an excellent event. Mm -hmm. um, you should not miss this. Mm -hmm. And without further ado, we should proceed One to One more interview. thing of further ado. Yes. We have to remind people not to go to the Salsa Cruz tonight. Yes. Because of the weather, because of the hurricane. Of the, Earl. Earl. <laughs> anyway, yes. now back to the interview. Okay, bueno, bienvenida Victoria, gracias, aquí a tu casa, a Boston, que te hemos tenido el placer de escuchar en el Holgorio del año pasado y es tenemos bien, el sí. placer de tenerte nuevamente. Yo les agradezco la participación aquí, un placer de conocerlos a ambos, de compartir con ustedes. Pues mira, yo muy feliz de volver a estar aquí en Boston compartiendo con toda esa gente linda. Mañana me toca mi presentación a las 5 de la tarde en el White Stadium. Eh, como parte de, de este festival cultural artesanal puertorriqueño y están todos invitados, para eso venimos aquí, para hablar un poquito de eso. Excelente. Y Victoria, para las personas que no te conocen eh, tan bien y que no saben tu biografía, porque yo sí me la sé, pero queremos a, eh, explicar eh, qué es un trovador, y en este caso una trovadora, y verdad, porque yo sé que eres una muchacha muy humilde y una artista, pero es un orgullo porque hay muy pocas féminas que tienen el honor y el estatus que tienes tú en esta música tan linda, tradicional puertorriqueña. Mira, bien lo dijiste. Trovador en Puerto Rico, por lo menos es aquel que se dedica a cantar décimas. La décima es una herencia que nos llega desde los tiempos de España. No solamente Puerto Rico tiene el cantío de décimas y la improvisación de décimas, sino hay otros países en Latinoamérica que también cantan décimas. Y hay una particularidad de los trovadores que es improvisar las décimas, que es inventárselas al momento. Mm. En este caso personal de Victoria... <ríe> Eh, mi carrera se ha engrandecido porque gracias a Dios tengo el don de la improvisación, o sea, no solamente las compongo y las canto, sino que puedo inventar una décima en el momento, por ejemplo, algo que diga, te saludo Marisela y también saludo a Leo, te saludo Marisela y también saludo a Leo, cantarles es mi deseo, esta décima espinela quedó Bajo su tutela, improviso, no es escrito, espero que de bonito para avivar el ambiente, dedicándolo a mi gente en el show de Fernandito. Ah. <risa> es un wow. momento, el arte del trovador. Qué, Increíble, qué, qué, poder, ¿eh? qué poder tu voz. Ah, Gracias, thank you. Tu ves, wow. Leonard. So what she, you know, what Victoria is explaining is, you know, what mm. trova music is, you know, which is also in other countries, they have it in Spain, and the décima, which is the type of, of song because of the syllables involved, which décima means 10, okay. um, which can either be written or it could be, I guess, improvised is right. the translation in English. And some people, like Victoria, actually have, you know, they're talented enough that not only do they write music and she has the voice to sing, mm. but she can improvise. So she just wow. needs um, a couple of seconds or minutes and she can actually improvise a whole, you know, length of a song or mm -hmm. a shorter song version, just like she did, using things that, as you can tell, wow. they rhyme. Because the decima, which is again 10 divided by syllables, it actually has a very specific pattern. It comes from poetry, mm -hmm. and you have to rhyme certain verses. So you can't just, you know, yeah. rhyme every blow. sentence can't or every line. It has to be, rhyme. it's a specific cadence and order to it. Oh, and she just did that <laughs> with That's no planning. Amazing. This is what, you know, trovador means. How did you discover that you had this talent? Because my father was trovador. Ah. Lo dije bien, ¿verdad? Sí, muy bien, muy bien. Mi papá era es? trovador y, y gracias a él eh, aprendí, eh, when, I, when I had seven years, eh, aprendí a, a cantar wow. a décima y como a los nueve años, with nine years, eh, aprendí a, a, a la improvisación. Wow, so by seven she was singing, and then at nine she learned how to do, you know, the improvised version, yeah. which is extremely difficult, and it yes. actually, you have to be really smart to do it, because it's not just, you know, 
It, people actually have to be smart to do that. Oh, so I'm yes. highly T impressed. Ten verses. Ten verses. Um, the first one rhyme with the four and five, second with third, six and seven with with ten, and eight wow. and nine. Eight syllables. How many? All the verses. Uh, Cuántos uh -huh. trabajadores son existe okay. en, en el mundo? En, bueno, en el mundo no te sabría decir exactamente la cantidad porque, por ejemplo, eh, en Cuba hay muchos, eh, eh, pero en Puerto Rico, en comparación con la población uh -huh. que son cuatro millones, te puedo decir que profesionales solamente debe haber alrededor de 100, only, wow. only eh, 100 in Puerto Rico. Wow. So out of 4 million, there's, you know, about 100 maybe that, That's you know, amazing. would be considered. But, well, it's extremely hard as you, you know, you just heard yeah. the difficult yeah. rhyme pattern, yeah. which, you know, I don't know, but it's, it's amazing and it's amazing to see right. live. And unlike rap, rap in this country is random, I think, right? It doesn't have those rules. No, no, it doesn't. No, no. Right. It's not the same. El rap es más fácil. It's easy yeah, to yeah. Improv improvise in rap, but in decima, it's not. It's decima, very hard. De decima hay uh, muchas reglas. Muchas reglas, yes. yes. That's correct. It's the most Spanish I've spoken on the show. I know, it's wonderful. Why am I doing this? <laughs> and the, the rhyme is I'm right so consonante. Okay. All the time. Tiene que ser una rima consonante. Perfect rhyme. All the time. Ah. It's amazing. It's really, like, it's a really difficult yeah. pattern. What he was saying, lo que él estaba explicando, sí. es que en rap no hay estas reglas. No. Oh, Entonces, okay. cuando mm. los raperos cantan, que no es música, mm -hmm. no es tan difícil como no, tú explicaste, no más, sí. porque no es, o sea, no hay que tener estas claro. reglas de rima, ni de Puedes consonancia, un ni aquí, cuán largo acá. los versos. Entonces, pues, es mucho mm. más fácil. Pero esto, esto requiere mucha inteligencia y mucha dedicación, sí. porque no es fácil. Sí, tienes que, que, que darte completa a, a esto. Now, you specialize in this type of music. You do other types of music as well, yes. correct? Yes. Uh, uh, my new project, my new CD, is about salsa. Entonces, uh, estoy cantando folk music y salsa también. Wow. <laughs> Now, are you known mostly for your salsa or for the the other the tra, uh, trava? I, I just forgot the word. Trovadora. Trovadoras. Pues toda la vida eh, he sido trovadora. Me especializo más en ser trovadora, pero también llevo unos años cantando salsa. A la gente le ha fascinado y a mí me fascina también. Así que me estoy convirtiendo igual salsera que trovadora, half and half. <laughs> yes. She's more known for trova. That's what she's I traditionally see. known for. But I she see. has started singing salsa and people like it. Mm -hmm. So she's saying that now she's going to do half and half. Mm -hmm. you, you have <laughs> no, you can't. Okay. <laughs> I, I, uh -huh. uh, do you ever perform with other singers of the same type and improvise together? Que si cantas con otros trovadores, improvisas con otros, sí. otros trovadores en Puerto Rico. Sí, incluso también improviso con otros cantantes de salsa también, que sabes que en la salsa se improvisa también. Uh -huh. O sea, lo puedo hacer con cualquier persona que improvise, intentamos siempre improvisar. Ok, so she does it with anybody who, you know, even with mm. salsa singers, because they improvise at times. Mm -hmm. So anybody who knows how to do it, she can kind of compliment them right. and do it with them. That's great. Um, so we have uh, a pie forzado is the, the, the verse number 10. And uh, si él quiere intentarlo, le puedo dar un pie forzado y él se tiene que inventar los otros nueve versos terminando. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, she said that she can give you, you know, she's going to give you like verse 10 and then you could do the other nine trying wow. to rhyme with the pattern. I said, <laughs> pretty hard. <laughs> I said, I don't think I can do that. That's but, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Wow. And, you know, um, when I, you know, when I go to the countryside, because that's where you listen to this music, my yeah. parents are from a town where this music is, is glorified and it's appreciated. And a lot of the young people like Victoria have grown learning this beautiful music. Mm. And it's very interesting because, for example, I'll walk in the place and my mom will say, well, my daughter's here from Boston. And they'll do a whole song mm. based on my daughter, my daughter <laughs> who came from Boston. And wow. they'll do a whole song on the minute, like it'll take them two minutes right. and they'll just improvise a whole song. It's amazing.